All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Shan, and it's uh, 10, 11 a.m. I actually can't remember the last time the thing on that I uh, did this on time or a little early. <clears throat> so uh, yeah. yeah, these numbers are off. Oh no, they're not off. Oh wow. Now this thing. So that probably means Bitcoin went down, didn't it? Because I literally just woke up and then. I'm still uh, thinking or dealing with uh, my game uh, because now it's starting to look a little more uh, obvious why people are developing for mobile versus PC and it's like kind of like pissing me off a little bit it's mostly because of the uh, ratings and rankings and stuff like that so I don't know I don't think I want to really go over uh, the ramblings of it but it also just goes to show that, like, you know, I really could use the help of conservatives, quote unquote, to, you know, you know, if they if they like my game, to like leave a positive review. But you know, that's just the thing. Most people don't even most conservatives don't even play games apparently or something. I, I don't know what it is. Uh, to take tops public in one point three. Oh, so top, yeah, I remember I used to collect baseball cards. Tops was like a really good one. So, uh, but it just goes to show, though, just, like, how little space, like, conservatives just have of anything, and it's just, like, aggravating. Uh, 8% dividends. Yeah, oh, whatever. Um, so, I don't know, I still have to think about it, but for now, I've decided to simply remove any mention of myself or links directly from my uh, Twitter to the game. Because two of the four negative, I guess we look at it anyway. Two of the four, because this used to have an 80, per, can you see this? Yeah, this used to have an 80%, so it was 8 of 10. Now it's 8 of 12. So I can't seem to find the other two negative reviews. I, I only found one of them, but two of these negative reviews did stem from, you know, shit lip, you know, F-words just trying to trash the game. And then they get around the Steam ban, they just say stuff that they didn't like about the game. And then they put in, at the end... You know, the anti conservative, anti Trump bullshit, which is actually a violation of Steam's um, review uh, policy. And of course, Steam doesn't do anything about it, so, you know, it kind of really pisses me off. And then I think, now imagine if I were a AAA company or even AA company dealing with stupid F word assholes like this. On a much bigger scale, instead of 12, you know, we would have like 100,000 reviews. And I'm like thinking, you know what, fuck these assholes. I'm going to go develop for mobile. Yeah, because I can't remember the, what the game was, but there was a game on Steam, and the exact same game is on mobile, but on Steam it had like a 60 or 66% positive rating, so it was mixed, right? Because that's what I have, 66%. But the exact same game on like Android, because that's what I have, is like 4.5 4 out of 5 stars. Like, it's like... The gap is just like ridiculous. And I know this game would do very well for mobile. So, problem is, I'm like I can't get around this bug in the Google Developer uh, Center where it just says, I don't know, like I'm missing some kind of dependency, and then I, uh, like I just haven't really wanted to code in a while. So, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to try to. I'm thinking I might go on Fiverr. I can maybe hire somebody to fix that bug. It should be a, it's a very common bug, even though like the Google search results for how to solve it just doesn't work. And then maybe um, you know I can put it up there, and then I can actually start making some money off of it. Because you know on mobile you have the ads, right? Whereas on Steam I don't get shit unless someone buys the you know soundtrack. So mobile is really just superior in every single way, right? So, um, but, uh, yeah, uh, oh well, and since I've more or less already, uh, moved away from, you know, the pol political stuff for now, because I know it's largely bullshit, you know, for the time being, just be better to concentrate on making money. So, speaking of which, that's my little thing, I'm still pretty, kind of preoccupied with that, so... Uh, oh, let me, uh, hold up. I'm playing my Star Trek online, so right now you can just kind of idle AFK. 
Oh, that's right. Have those idiots ever actually um, responded to my inquiries? No, it doesn't look like they have. Yeah. See, they're, they're not even responding to the support ticket, even though my thing is completely... <clears throat> uh, thing. So, anyway, let's get this over with. So, Riot is actually down 7% for some dumb, retarded reason. Let's check the technicals on it. Yeah, it's only halfway. Uh, this is 54, this is 53. So today should be a red candle-ish, or a flat candle. 53.49. Is this correct? 53, yeah. Uh, Bitcoin didn't even go down that much. So what's actually going on here? Uh, the dollar is down slightly. E what did the 10-year yield say? 10-year yields do. All right, so I guess people are just pulling money out of crypto right now. Because the goes down even a little bit. Yeah, it looks like tech stocks are actually taking a hit today. I think which makes sense because I forgot what it was, but yesterday, <coughs> actually the past few trading days, the NASDAQ has just gone straight up. So this could just be a pullback phase. That's what it's looking like. Mm. So, uh, so Oracle doing all right. Uh, Bank of America going up past forty. So my call option or debt on that are doing well. Exxon Mobil is finally recovered because oil is way oversold. So what's crude saying? Crude oil is up three percent today. So like the stock guy says, he expects crude oil to be seventy bucks a barrel. So right now it's at sixty forty. Uh, probably this week, but if not. Uh, you know, eventually, I'm oh, doing this right. This dumb racist, anti-racist shit. Very annoying. Um, and then I already sold my silver positions long ago. So, I mean, I still have my physical silver, but, you know, I'm not expecting this to go up anytime soon. Uh, someone is trying to short eBang. I forgot what eBang was. I guess I don't really care. Yeah, so for the most part, um... Because I know I said towards on my live streams towards the end of last week that um, uh, what was I saying that crypto should be doing pretty well this week and so far it has and then today it looks like it's a pullback day. Uh, XRP is now and XRP is popping off so now it's back at thirty two percent so it's pretty obvious that whatever SEC fears there are this thing is now obviously I think gone. So now XRP should be going back to its fair market value. So, uh, I don't know. I think it should be at least what Cardano is worth. But I think in Cardano could, I mean, XRP could be a dollar. Well, at least a dollar twenty because that's what Cardano was before it's breaking out today, finally. To a dollar eighty, maybe. All right. But, I mean, as you all know, I don't like XRP, you know, for personal reasons, right? Same reason why I don't like Ethereum. So, all right, but that's good. So, Cardano has finally broken out a little bit, but I think it's still, the RSI is pretty high on that. And this thing is actually always lagging behind a little bit. So, yeah, it's getting pretty close to 100. Uh, that really sucks. Uh, Litecoin's doing pretty well, 0.54%, even though I don't have any more, because I, right now I just have, uh, VeChain. Oh, Filecoin's actually gone down a bit, so it's still actually in its, uh, consolidation phase, but considering that Filecoin has quadrupled, no, quintupled in price and is retracing back, you know, 3x instead of 2x, right? Or instead of 5x? Yeah, this actually makes sense. So yeah, if you want to get into Filecoins, probably, it's getting cheaper. And V chain, it's kind of popping off, but I mean, it's still stuck at 10.6 cents. Like, it doesn't really want to go down, so that's a good sign. But you know, I just gotta wait for it. I'm waiting for that stupid thing to go up. Because so far, <laughs> Litecoin is actually outperforming V chain, which is a little irritating. So there's just a lot of shuffling of money around. So eventually, it'll shower itself everywhere else. And I assume everyone's actually buying up XRP. So that's probably where all the money is really going. Uh. 
Oh yeah, we could actually look at the technicals for this, because before we didn't have something like this, and I've always shitted on technical analysis because it would always be wrong. But not this but not this one. The stock guy really knows what he's doing here. So yeah, so this thing's already pretty high up there, but I mean it's already going straight up, so by the time it peaks, this thing could go straight up to like a dollar eighty, for example. I've seen i I've seen stocks and crypto do stuff like that, and then the RSI, because the demand is so strong, the buying pressure is so strong. So, but with that being said, yeah, it, it is nearing its top, so it's kind of weird. A lot of things are nearing the top of the RSI, but they're making a push higher, so. And then uh, Fed Chair Jerome Powell is speaking tomorrow, so that could also be weighing uh, as well. Because, I don't know, the NASDAQ and tech stocks and crypto seem very sensitive to what the fucking Federal Reserve has to say. It, it, it just, like, doesn't make any sense to me. But it's all emotional, it's all unstable, so whatever. You know, it'll just pass. So, anyway, uh, things are going rippy mode. Um, yeah, I've already covered my new t crypto position, so I'm very happy with it, you know. So, uh, if you want to still stay in Litecoin, that's fine. Me, I want to go for the multi-millions of dollars, because that's really all that I can really do. And I can do it really well. So that's why I'm mostly in VeChain. But I do have my next second biggest position in Cardano. <coughs> Which admittedly is the slower. Like it's not good. Like first of all, VeChain is much more likely to like 40x as opposed to Cardano. Right? Cardano is not going to 40x. Uh, at least not until DeFi comes out for Cardano. And it's been out for at least a few months. Just to make sure that it's not buggy or anything. Uh, and then we can see if it starts taking market share away from Ethereum. Because right, everyone's gunning for Ethereum, for the smart contract DeFi uh, market. So, you know. But Cardano is already in the process of implementing that, so uh, we'll see how that goes. And it looks very solid. It looks very solid. So it's, just, it's just the waiting game. By the end of April, they'll have, like, some parts of it out. I, I forgot the technicals, but you can just go on the Cardano Twitter and then just read through it. Uh, so yeah, so this week should be good. I said, I know I said last week, I don't know if I said in last Tuesday's, uh, video, but I know I said in my live streams that this week should be a very good week for both stocks and crypto. And so far it's looking pretty good. All right. It's looking pretty good. And XRP is already breaking out, even though it's already nearing the top of this thing. Oh, that's right. I know I I've been telling people to buy Filecoin too. Some people still want to buy this shit. Yeah, so Filecoin is literally at the bottom of the RSI. So this thing is under so oversold. It is it's been sold way too much. Now it could still go down more. And the RSI will get suppressed even more. But the more it does that, the more likely that Filecoin's literally gonna like it actually would probably double in price. So it hit like three, four, five, even five hundred dollars. So they can't they can't they can't sell this anymore because a lot of people want to buy this shit. All right, because look, look how look how far down this RSI went to zero or near zero. Look, it's at it's at four point oh two, and, and the price barely budged. All right, it's establishing support and resistance. All right, it's it's way above this blue triple blue line or something like that. So yeah, so if you're looking to buy Filecoin. This is literally the time because you're not going to see cheaper prices, and if it keeps going down further. Well, great. You're getting in at a discount. Because I already got in at like $52, $54. So I'm set. I put, I put 13 grand into that. So even with this little drop, quote unquote, my thing's worth like 30, no, like $42,000, $43,000. I didn't do anything. And that actually is a little depressing because I think about all the hard work I put into making this game and all the people I've outsourced to help me, like the artwork and stuff. Right? This costed me. I want to say a thousand dollars, twelve hundred dollars maybe, and a lot of my time, like two to on average, like three hours a day, six days a week for like seven, eight, nine months, I guess. I'm also including me deep, uh, buying courses on how to program and shit, right? And this thing doesn't make any money, right? It makes barely anything, right? Um, though I guess if I put it on mobile, it'll It'll probably, I think it actually will make something because I have to, because because a lot of people complain about putting a game on Steam doesn't do anything because you can't get discovered. A lot of people actually find the store page. They, they just don't find it appealing enough for whatever reason. 
I'm thinking it might be the same thing on mobile, but people on mobile are much nicer. So I think about something like that, and I think about something like this, where I literally just do nothing. I buy a bunch of Filecoin, and somehow the free market says that this thing is worth way more than what I did here. Like, like I guess I can kind of understand because Filecoin is an actual real thing. with an actual real use case, which is creating a decentralized cryptocurrency based storage system to replace uh, our current centralized cloud computing system. So actually that would be pretty valuable, but it's just weird because I didn't do anything and I make all this money. I'm mean, granted I didn't sell, but obviously I'm not selling now. Are you crazy? Are you stupid? <laughs> if you're selling or short selling this market, you're, 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 you're literally fucking retarded. All right, I'm just gonna call you out, call call it out right now. You're like you're just retarded, and I'll be happy to take all your money legally. And I'm sure like the few people that watch this video will be happy to take your money too. So it, it just goes to show. It's just like uh, I don't know. I'm still I'm I'm still trying to figure, work my way through that, and then you know figure something out. But anyway, I think this video's gone way long. Um, but yeah, more easy money. From the Fed, more propping up and manipulation upwards of the markets in everything, right? Stock markets, crude oil, cryptocurrencies, and uh, you know I'm just sitting tight and just waiting for uh, waiting for the big days. And then I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen with XRP. So yeah, all right. I will see you all later uh, on the live stream, right? HTTPS Trovo Live slash real Johnson and they really have to fix that because people just type in my thing and they can't find me or um, next week in the next video in case you don't watch live stream. you really do need to watch the live stream because that's where the actual real money is made all right you get in early and you get it out so and also I also talk about certain things that I don't talk about on, the, on these videos so yeah all right thanks for watching and wow 17 minutes and 10 seconds i guess i really did i guess i really am a little upset that you know shit libs are trashing my beautiful game oh that's the other thing too this stupid game still outperforms see this stupid game decently tower bad defense he just literally stole it from uh, from brackies online and this has way more everything this makes literally no sense to me i actually do not know what the hell is going on so i'm actually pretty trying to figure out what the hell right 81 percent so the only thing i could think of is maybe is there a hard drive space here yeah it doesn't say anything the only thing i could think of is maybe the hard drive space is a problem but the reason why I care about the ratings is because your ratings determine how high up on the search results you show up, right? Because my game is down here. I used to be right above them or below them. So look, like, this, this like, completely fucks me over. All right. So, that's another thing, too. Maybe this black background might actually be making me blend in with the uh, thing and people just skip right over it. I'm like, it's so, it's so aggravating. It's so aggravating. But, uh, but that's, uh, but like I said, this is a learning experience, so I will figure it out. And then when I have my multis of millions of dollars, we'll come back with a vengeance, because, you know, I'm not fucking giving up on this shit. Alright, I just gotta figure out, the, I have to figure out something effective to do. Alright, that's enough. Alright, see you all later or next week. Thanks. Oh, and make sure you do have a capability of leaving a good review and you haven't done so i would really appreciate it because this thing really sucks mixed all right i at least want this thing back in the uh mostly positive you know but oh well i mean if no one wants to leave a review i can't do anything about it because you know that's just the steam policy right yeah